Hi, welcome to Gear for Music. My name's Alex and in this video we're going to talk about how to activate Avid Pro Tools Express and use the Crossgrade to update to the full version of Pro Tools. So you've just received your new Mbox, or it could be that you've received the Duo, it really doesn't matter. If it comes with Pro Tools Express and you've received the Crossgrade to upgrade to the full version of Pro Tools, this is the process in which you activate those. So firstly, take the interface out of the box and underneath the interface you'll find the Express installer. Now inside this box, you'll have two elements. The first one is a code which is printed on the back of a card. The second one is the iLock key, which is inside the box. What we do then is we go to the PACE website. This is at www.ilock.com. Once you're at the website, you will see this screen. Now in the past, a lot of people used to register by logging into the website and using the browser to actually manage all their licenses. Now they've actually updated the website now. This includes the license manager which can be downloaded and installed on your computer. We would always recommend using this because it, it makes the process a lot easier and it's a lot more advanced. So whether you're using a Mac or a PC, whether it's 32-bit or 64-bit, you can install the downloader from here straight to your computer. So what we'll do is we'll download the Mac version because we're using a Mac. That's basically a simple click. That will start downloading. And once that's downloaded, we can install it and run. OK, so the iLock Manager is downloaded. All you need to do now is go to your Applications folder or to your Programs file on a PC or a Mac and find the application. Here we go, iLock Manager. I'll just double click to open that and the iLook Manager is showing up. The first thing it wants to do is just check to see if there's any automatic updates that it can do. I would just press yes. Right, if you've not used this program before, the first thing you need to do is either sign in or create an account. Now, if you've used the website before and logged in, your login details will be exactly the same. So simply click the sign in, put in your username and password or create a new account. Okay, you can see these are licenses that we've already added to our account. If this is the first time you're using this program, you'll find that this window will be empty. On the left hand side, you'll see a computer and you'll see any iLock keys that are registered to your account. Again, if this is the first time you're using it, there will be no iLock keys registered. Okay, so what you need to do now, is take your iLock key, and insert it in the USB port on the back of your computer. The iLock key should then show up in your browser. Would you like to register this to your iLock account? Yes, you would do. So all you need to do is hit the yes button and that iLock key will then be registered to your account. Okay, once you have registered your iLock key to your iLock account, all you need to do is head over to the Avid website and create your account there. So if you go to www avid.com forward slash activation. Once here, you can either log in if you already have an account or you can create a new account. So as we have an account, we will just log in. At this point, they will ask for your activation serial number. Your serial number, firstly, you'll be activating your express, will be inside the box printed on the back of the plastic card. Enter your activation code into the panel. If prompted for your iLock account ID, this will be this ID that you use to log into your iLock account. Once that has been entered, the software can be downloaded and the iLock license will be added to your iLock account. A double click of each license will show you how they can be stored. They could be stored on an old iLock 1, an iLock version 2, or on a computer. Now this is a simple part. Once it has been activated, all you need to do is drag and drop onto the key. That license will then be transferred onto the key. Once this process has been completed, you can repeat the process using the Pro Tools Crossgrade, which will then upgrade the Express to the full version of Pro Tools. That can then be installed and run on your computer. Remember, once you've added the crossgrade, don't forget to drag the license across into your key. 
As long as the key is installed on your computer, the software will run fine.